news. Rain, snow and dangerous travel. We are tracking the major winter storm with multiple crews tonight. But we need to start with breaking news in southwest Omaha right now where state troopers just updated us on a pursuit that ended with a shooting near 180th and Gertrude. We know one person is dead. KETV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely leads us off live at 5. Multiple law enforcement agencies are still on scene here at 180th. Now I'm going to step out and see you, let you guys see what we're looking at here. The Nebraska State Patrol says a man and two women were being pulled over around 3 o'clock on suspicion of theft by a Th Saunders County deputy when someone in the truck fired shots at the deputy. Now here's video from earlier. They say state troopers and Saunders County deputies chased the truck into Sarpy County hitting speeds of 100 miles an hour. They say the truck stopped here at 180th and Gertrude just south of Harrison with a flat tire. The state patrol says as they approached the truck, they found a man dead. We pursued the vehicle onto 181st um, and as it approached Gertrude over here, uh, the vehicle came to a stop at which point one single gunshot was heard from inside the vehicle. Uh, it appears that the uh, driver is deceased of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Again, two women were inside that truck at the time as well. They've been taken into state Nebraska State Patrol custody. This is a developing story. We'll be sure to keep you updated both here in the 6 o'clock news and online. Reporting live, Sarah Feely, KETV News, Watch 7. All right, Sarah, thank you. A day that started with rain and 50 degree temperatures ends colder and with ice. The live look at our exclusive dual pole radar right now shows those bands of moisture moving over Omaha. And the further west you go, the worse it has been. Westbound I-80 is closed from Grand Island to North Platte. Eastbound traffic is shut down from North Platte to Lexington. These pictures are coming in to us tonight from the Nebraska State Patrol. Now it is slick and dangerous out there. Yeah, we have crews across the region tonight on this busy travel day to keep you safe and up to date. Whether now storm crews are in position from Omaha and cities west of here, we'll check in with them in a moment. Right now we want to show you what streets on both sides of the metro look like. On your left is West Dodge Road from Methodist Women's Hospital. On your right, that's I-480 looking south near Martha Street. Now across Omaha, look at travel speeds from our traffic to go maps. Looks like things are moving along OK here in the metro, at least for right now. We're here with meteorologist Sean Everson, who's tracking all this winter weather. Yes, most of the precipitation, though, starting to move out of the Omaha metro, but you've felt it if you've been outside, the cold air continuing to surge in and drop those temperatures. So the concern is for slick spots and many spots where it has been treated as we continue into the evening drive. Winter weather advisory remains in effect for the Omaha metro, most of eastern Nebraska. That goes until midnight tonight. Here's Super Doppler 7 radar, and you can see that little batch of of snow and a little sleet mixture moving through the western part of the metro now continue to move out had a little bit of freezing drizzle at times in downtown Omaha but you see most of that moisture now pushing out and up to the north and east still a bit of snow up towards North Fork in Stanton and then rain farther off to the eastward still a little bit warmer there's a look outside right now from Methodist Women's Hospital the West Dodge Expressway you can see cars moving along just fine but again watching for isolated slick spots just reporting mostly cloudy skies at Epley 26 degrees, but the northwest wind is blowing everybody in the 20s across the Omaha Metro right now. Teens farther to the west, but winds 20 to 30 miles per hour gusting even higher, sending those wind chills into the teens single digits even below zero up towards Norfolk and Columbus. So still as the precipitation moves out, still the possibility of some slick spots on the roads through the evening. So that's why the impact icon is there. We'll continue to see those temperatures drop into the mid 20s. More coming up in my forecast in just a bit, David. All right, Sean, thanks. Right now, City of Omaha tells us plows are waiting until it gets icy to hit the streets. They'll start spreading salt once the freezing starts. The full fleet of about 100 will treat the streets early tomorrow morning for the rush to work. We go west to Lincoln at 5. That's where KETV News Watch 7's Taylor Barth is tracking conditions on the interstate tonight. Taylor, what are you seeing? Yeah, David Alexandra, drivers are hitting the evening commute in Lincoln right now, and they'll want to take it slow. We've been here on the road since about 3 this afternoon, and they are very slick. We are on I-80 East right now, uh, headed toward the 27th Street exit, and you can see the far left lane here on the interstate is completely covered with ice. When we drove into Lincoln on I-80 West this afternoon, we saw vehicles spinning out, and we even slid a little bit because the rain quickly turned to sleet, and it was sticking to the roads and making for a sheet of ice. Now, crews are out working to improve the conditions. NDOT tells us 
600 of its plows are on the roads plowing and salting along I-80 and highways across the state. And we talked to some people who stopped in Lincoln to wait out the weather. Some came from as far as Denver and Kearney and said they saw multiple crashes as they headed east. And Nebraska State Patrol tells us troopers across the state have also responded to more than 100 motorist assist calls across the state where someone has been stuck or stranded. So the colonel's advice tonight is just avoid traveling west and stay off of the roads if you can. Again, I-80 still closed starting at Grand Island. And again, we are on I-80 East right now. Traffic starting to pick up as people head home from work tonight. So again, if you're headed out, please take it slow. Watch out for black ice and slick spots. And again, we're, um, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio right now and provide another update later on. Okay, Taylor, thanks for that update. We're going to move west along Interstate 80 now. This is live video here from near Seward. And from there to the north, the changeover from rain to snow caught a lot of people off guard this morning. KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki reports. Winter slipped back into many parts of Nebraska Thursday. This is Highway 81 near Columbus. But what wreaked the most havoc was earlier in the morning. It was all rain and then it just switched to ice about, uh, I think it was around somewhere around 7 o'clock this morning. Ryan Fleming spent the morning pulling out 10 semis and vehicles out of ditches near Columbus. It kind of caught everybody off guard. The same scenario played out along I-80. Wet roads from rain suddenly turned icy. These jackknife semis were between Seward and York. This is black ice right here, yeah. Bruce Boat came from Oregon heading to Sioux City. He made it past Lexington and North Platte on the interstate just before it was closed around mid-morning. Well, a lot of whiteouts. Wind was really blowing. This community convenience store in Shelby, Nebraska, has just about everything. It's become a refuge for stranded motorists along Highway 81 during storms. I had one night where the manager has stayed overnight and let people stay because it was so bad. Two years ago, the town even put up stranded families and residents' homes. We're a small town. We'll help out, pitch in, do what we can, because um, we're 20 miles from Columbus, the nearest town with the hotels and stuff. And as the storm approaches the metro area, a word of advice from this tow truck driver. If you get to drive it on this stuff, it really doesn't matter how cautious you are, because you just start sliding and there's nothing you can do. Near Columbus, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. So we want to show you what road conditions across the state look like right now. Pink means roads are completely covered. There's a lot of it in the state of Nebraska. Again, westbound I-80 is closed from Grand Island to North Platte. Eastbound traffic shut down from North Platte to Lexington. All right, breaking at five from Sarpy County, a woman has died after an elevator accident. Somehow police say the 25 year old got stuck between the floor and an elevator in her home. It took about a half hour for rescuers to get her out. We don't know how long she was there before someone called 911. In Sarpy County, a pursuit shut down I-29 near Highway 275 this afternoon. It started in Omaha and ended around 115. That chase crossed the Missouri River multiple times before the stolen BMW stopped. One person is in custody tonight and traffic is moving again. Updating breaking news in Omaha. Five people are hurt after this bad crash happened this morning near 48th and Polk. Police tell us the white truck crossed the middle line and hit a red minivan. That van then rear-ended another. Here's a list of everybody who got hurt. Omaha police say James Reed, the pickup truck driver, may have had some sort of medical condition that contributed to the wreck. Right now, police are searching for two men who robbed the Bank of the West at 59th and Radial this morning. Investigators say they made a threat and got away with cash. That was right around 11 o'clock. Officers say they got away in this maroon car. Take a look at these security pictures of the suspects. Call Crime Stoppers if you recognize them or know anything about the crime. The number is 402-444-STOP. You can stay anonymous and you might get a cash reward. A 13-year-old girl is accused of setting fires at McMillan Magnet School. Police got the call on December 19th and found three separate fires. According to an Omaha police report, there's video evidence showing the girl enter and exit the bathrooms where the fire started. She later confessed. There's no word how much damage the fire caused. We've also learned a Gretna woman died early this morning in a snowmobile crash near Lake Superior in Michigan. 46-year-old Jill Swartz of Gretna was following a group of other snowmobiles when she went off the shoreline of a small lake in the area. She hit some rocks and then a tree. Weather and speed are both factors in the crash.
The roller coaster continues on Wall Street. At one point today, stocks were down significantly, but late trading erased those losses, and all three major indexes ended the day with gains. Investors, though, are hesitant to say the December sell-off is over, and they're worried about new trade issues between the U.S. and China. Well, in Washington, House Republicans say they don't expect to vote on anything for the rest of the week. So the government shutdown will likely continue into the new year. The White House says President Trump doesn't want the government to remain closed, but he won't sign a spending bill that doesn't, quote, adequately fund border security. Some lawmakers were back in town for brief sessions in both chambers. Now the Senate is adjourned until New Year's Eve. That will be another brief session. After that, senators return January 2nd. The new Congress with the Democratic House majority convened January 3rd. It doesn't seem like there's been a ton of urgency to reopen things over the course of the holidays. About 420,000 essential employees like TSA agents are working without pay. 380,000 government workers have been furloughed. Well, still to come at five, the diaper donation. It takes a lot of manpower to unload a million diapers. And live outside right now, nasty conditions as a winter storm moves into the area. It's going to get colder and we're going to deal with ice later tonight. Sean? Yeah, good news. Most of the precipitation starting to lift out of the Omaha metro, but temperatures still dropping. I'll have more on the impacts coming up in my full forecast.